Welcome to Orlando, Florida and the campus of UCF. The Knights are ready to rock an FBC Mortgage Stadium already bouncing as these fans have been preparing since early this morning. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Cincinnati Bearcats, taking on another team from the Big 12, the UCF Knights. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Knights will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it out. It's Matt. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. So the Cincinnati Bearcats offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Finds just enough daylight to work his way up to the 19-yard line. And the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, you've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Drag down after a pickup of five out to the 35. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for a crease, it's Kiner. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. And you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these boys. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding the pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. And the Bearcats will call on their punt team, getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. They make the stop on the return, but there is laundry on the field. Let's get the call. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Going to the running game. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short gain. Eighth 
McCoy on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. Dropping back, it's Soresby. He finds his man. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. The Bearcats had this offense rolling. They're going to run it. On the move at the 30. Delivers the contact. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats! You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They march 79 yards on the drive. And that was a scintillating way to finish that one. A 44-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. And he loses the ball deep in his own end. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Very rarely do you have a play on defense where you've got 30 yards head of speed. He'll take a shot. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That is so impressive. Not only was it a great catch, but also he made sure he had one foot in bounds to get the touchdown. Beautiful job. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the UCF Knights offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. The Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. We can talk about the next game on the schedule. They're always looking forward to this one. Running it to the right. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The Knights will snap it on first and ten. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short game. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route run. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Wide out in motion. Looking to pass. It's Jefferson. He's right on target. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. Hey, QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. On the run, it's Harvey. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Right back to it. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? They'll try to get the first through the air. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Well, on third and short and field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. Field goal is good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Bringing it back. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the ground, it's Kiner. Gets it out to the 20 after he pick up a four. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line is to assert themselves. Run the block, what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road. You've got a third and manageable. Back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Back to throw, it's Soresby. Unleashes one. Already find a hole in that secondary. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The Bearcats come to the line in the hurry-up. On the move. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. 
Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Motion from the offense. A quick touch pass to the receiver. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And it's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Bearcats! Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to add another. And the extra point makes it a 21-3 lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Fielded in the end zone, it's Townsend. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit. And just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. just feeds the running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. The Knights in the hurry up. Trying to move them on the counter. Sticking with the running game and finding enough space to get eight, it leaves him with a fourth and two. The Knights line up to punt it away. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Leaves it with the back. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs after picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking for room, it's Kiner. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout, so you get tired of getting worn down with They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. To the ground with the back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Right back to him on the ground. Didn't get much done on that, Ryan. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit out, sir. The Knights want to move quickly. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes, like run your route past the sticks so we get the first down, but nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And they got him for the sack. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback, get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. Second down now after the sack. They'll run it. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing these pads. A third and long coming up here. To throw, it's Soresby. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and stuff. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the returner goes down. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? This is hardly the start they dreamed of, down 21-3. But get a touchdown here, and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. Yeah, it's frustrating for this offense as well because they've got the horses. They've got playmakers to light this scoreboard up much more than the three points we're seeing here. I think you just got to stay true to yourself. Do you, David, and know that the points are going to come. Well, it's also frustrating when the defense has given up points almost every single possession. So they, they need to score here and take this down and have a good drive, and then the defense needs to pull their weight a little bit too. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. The Knights want to crank the tempo. Right back to the well. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The Knights will snap it on first and 10. Quickly out to the tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the quarterback who makes a sure tackle. 
Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but it makes life really easy on me on second down. Looking for room, it's Harvey. Discards a man. The Knights have a first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. The Knights are marching down the field. Leaves it with the running back. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He'll keep it himself. Tackle is made after the first down. Such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs. Great open field running ability by this QB. Linebackers shuffling around trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Wide open downfield. And he glides into the end zone easily, but this one might be coming back. <laughs> so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. A first down for the offense. Hand off from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Here comes the offense on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Harvey. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. At the 40, there he goes. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And how about that, man? If you're a defense, that's demoralizing. You get him in a, a known passing situation. They slip the run in there. All you got to do now, you're playing deep for a pass, but now come up, just make the tackle. Force a fourth down. The defense could not get the back on the ground, Palmer, and he gets the first down. Yeah, David, and better gap integrity up front, too, on defense. I know you think it's going to be passed, but that doesn't give you an excuse to get out of your lane. Everybody's thinking sack the quarterback, but now they just opened a huge crease for that running back, and he took advantage. Of it. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Knights are in the hurry up. They'll run it on the counter. He's there to make the stop. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover, guys. I make tackles. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a priest. <laughs> Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Off the RPO complete. 
He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion. It's first and goal. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. A very productive play on first down has now set us up with this second and goal. Trying to pound their way in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, you see up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together, great job executing, great job getting a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. So the 16 play drive. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Taylor. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. Gonna run it, it's Kiner. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Running back searching for a hole. Shakes off the defender. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like that. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop, and get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, passing. The Bearcats decide to punt it away. He'll bring it back. It's Townsend. He'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. 
Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Fine just tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Looking to go up top on first down. Good timing on the quick out. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Hey, man, you're going to have to bring a lot of hats to the party to get this guy down. These big tight ends, they do not go down easy. He's able to make one guy miss, break a tackle, pick up some extra yardage. The Knights will line it up on first and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Grab near the marker is Hudson. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you could tell he extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Dropping back, it's Jefferson. Looking to the big tight end. Touchdown, Knights! What a catch and run for six. That had touchdown written all over it from the moment he caught the ball. Big play, big run for the six. Yeah, they had touchdown written all over it because nobody was covering it. It would be a good idea to get a hand on him. You know, listen, I know the guy's got some speed, and maybe you give him a cushion and give him some space, but that was a little aggressive on the space department there. Getting set for the point after. And they tack on the extra point to cut the lead to 21-17. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Looking for block. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Off the play fake on first down. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. That first down was rather unproductive. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 16. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Mack. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. With the catch, it's Johnson. They'll immediately call timeout. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. First down, 10 yards to go. 
He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Mack. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Back to pass. It's Soresby. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Bearcats will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. They'll go to the counter. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Well, you get the incompletion there on third down. You've still got a half of football basically to play. Do you trust your defense down one possession to get it back to give you a shot? If you don't, you've got to stay out there and you've got to go for this and you've got to dial up your best play to stay on the field. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. Oh, the quick spin move. And he loses the football on the return. And the defense jumps on it. They get that turnover. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling and create some momentum. Just get a few first downs and I'm in scoring position. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. The Knights moving quickly to the line. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> That DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Right back to the well. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Floating away. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. And that's an interesting call going play action on third and long because the defense is not worried about you handing the football off. That's not freezing anybody, especially these defensive ends. They're going right up the field, and you saw that time the pocket collapse as they were able to get to the quarterback. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And for the second time in this game, he'll try to knock through a field goal. This one, a 41-yarder. Absolutely perfect. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside is five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The give to the back. He gets it all the way out to the 19-yard line. They pick up of six. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. They go to the ground. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Great play by the defense. Listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously have a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat them. So, third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. On the move, it's Soresby. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Bearcats will hustle to the line. The give to the tailback. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Fires to the big fella. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Kind of like that big, reliable security line. And that's what tight ends are a lot of times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. A completion, but not wide enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. How about that? You don't see those... You know, touch passes go for negative yards very often. Usually this is a short flip that counts as a completion that goes a long way with the defense. Aggressive, saw it, pulled the trigger, came outside, made sure he didn't get outside and get to that edge. Nice job by the defense. And they won't be able to down it. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. David, they had to settle for a field goal last time. 
Yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area where they needed to be a little bit more efficient. I think they just got to do a little better job of executing on this drive, and we'll see if they can punch it in for six this time. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Takes a handoff. It's Harvey. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. And after a successful run like that on first down, if you're the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're thinking about being aggressive and potentially taking a shot because even if it's incomplete now on second, you only have a short amount of yards to go here on third. Tempo in overdrive. They'll go right back to it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. And you could tell they pull the trigger so fast, get to the back, get him on the ground quickly. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Caught behind the line. It's Hudson. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? The Knights will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense is doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking to throw at Soresby. Quarterback floating away from pressure. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor did the quarterback throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now. Out of the shotgun on third down. Grab near the marker, it's Johnson. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. The pull and throw off the RPO. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. The Bearcats will have it first and ten. He wants to throw. Release to the back. Makes the catch. It's Kiner. Touchdown, Cincinnati! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long. A step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. The UCF offense back on the field ready to go to work. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play, but what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. On the run, it's Harvey. Gets it past the marker. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. It couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. The Knights headed quickly to the line. Looking for a man. It's Jefferson. Throws for the tight end. He's got it. Tackle, but he has a first down. They might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run. Now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quickly complete. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. He saw man coverage and the idea just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Out of the gun to give to the back. Got enough for the first. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Offensively, are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Comes out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Pittman. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and he add the answer to the test right there. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Now on first down from the 30. Use the play fake, now to throw. Makes a connection. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. I think one of the most undervalued assets in good quarterback play is the play-action game. Making the run fake honestly and truthfully looking like run. You're fooling the defense, and then you're just making it easier on yourself because you're giving yourself bigger lanes to throw the football into. A first down run in the red zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive, okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. 
the run up the middle, looking for the score. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. All right, this offense just keeps trying to pound the ball into the end zone down tight, but the defense, they're very, very physical. So I think you got to think about either a perimeter run, a potential run pass option, or let your quarterback try to go make a play thrown. A touchdown here on third and goal really ratchets up the game pressure. Now the play fake. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, UCF! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the butt, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the quarterback. Now they'll try to tie it up with the two late. Trying to punch it in. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and we are all tied up here in the fourth. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. And here comes the offense on second down. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Good pick up on the ground there. Give him five to the 16-yard line. Yeah, and a great job on the offensive line. Seeing the blitz, picking it up, and then it's on the running back. Running back finds the hole, gets a little bit of a crease, makes a nice run out of it. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. Makes his connection. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The defense needs to have a plan for this guy. They weren't ready for that one. Drag route running all the way across the field. And the DB just can't stay with him because of his speed. And as a result, they give up a big one. The Bearcats getting set on first and ten. Give to the running back. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Kiner. Really nice job creating his own space, running with attitude. He's up to the 37-yard line. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting in the ball and letting it play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good on the backfield. You know they're going to catch it. There's so many ways to use them, but exactly. Get it to him. Let him break tackles. Let him make plays. Easy decision. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down, guys. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. 
They just can't seem to cover this guy. He keeps getting open, even when he's running out of space on the sideline. Yeah, running out of space, they're still going to feature him. They, they see the matchup, and look at the balance and the coordination and just knowing where I'm out on the field to get the feet inbounds and secure the catch. What a play and what a day for this young man. I got to be honest, I thought this tight end was going to have a much bigger role in this game. They wanted to get him the football early and often, but after that drop here in the second half, he still doesn't have a catch. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Back to pass. It's Soresby. Might be looking to run. On the move at the 30. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Talk about saving your best when the moment is the biggest. Nice job in the fourth quarter. Been grinding all day. Made the biggest run of the day when it counted the most. Picked up the first down in a pretty close ball game. Inside the 25. They'll snap it from the 24. First down. Quick handoff. They make the stop of the 19 after a pickup of five. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying to run, it's Kiner. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He'll pull it on the read. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range and they can take the three points on the board. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And he missed it. No good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still time all game. Well, that's just one the kicker would love to have back here in the fourth quarter of the tie game. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. The Knights want to pick up the tempo. complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Using his legs, it's Harvey. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a 
bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. They'll try the run. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. From the gun, running back gets to give. Got enough for the first. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. The Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking for a gap. It's Harvey. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Hoping to help their kicker out with a few yards on third down because from here, it would be a 58-yarder. To the air, it's Jefferson. Right down the middle. A strike downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Hey, nice job by the offense there attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback putting it right on his guy. The Knights have it with a first and ten. Give to the back. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. The clock stops. Two minutes left to play in this one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Here's the handoff. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now they've taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Well, 
the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late. Who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're immortalized. With this kind of rivalry, these are the highlights they'll be showing for years. Everybody be like, I remember when so-and-so made that play against our biggest rival to seal the deal. That's reeled in. It's Johnson. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked in what this defense is trying to do. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation. Throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. To the air, it's Soresby. Fires to the big fella. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab. It's Mack. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. After giving up a few extra yards after a hitch throw, I wonder if this defense is going to want to give this guy this much access moving forward. They might be thinking about more press coverage or playing some zone coverage where the corner's right up on Got to keep that urgency up here, but already in position for the game-tying field goal. Brings up second down. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for space, it's Kiner. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. 